Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Beyonce said it herself, in her own words, while reflecting on her historic Vogue cover and spread. When I first started, 21 years ago, I was told that it was hard for me to get onto covers of magazines because black people did not sell, she said in a personal reflection for the iconic magazine. Clearly, that has been proven a myth. Clearly, indeed. Looking across the spectrum of magazine covers this month, there is plenty of hashtag blackgirlmagic. Joining Beyonce, who is on the cover of the American Vogue that dropped Monday, is singer and actress Rihanna, who is on the cover of British Vogue, and Oscar winner Lupita Nyong'o, on the cover of Porter magazine. Blackish star Tracy Ellis Ross is on the September cover of Elle Canada, and actresses Zendaya and Tiffany Haddish are featured on the covers of Marie Claire and Glamour, respectively. The covers were greeted with plenty of excitement on social media. What a time to be alive, one person tweeted. The importance of representation is, of course, not a new discussion in communities of color. But the abundance of these covers at a time when the United States feels to many more divided than ever over issues of race has been cause for even more celebration. And celebrate is exactly what fans did when it was reported that Beyoncé would, in essence, take over Vogue for the month selecting her shots, including the cover, overseeing the captions, and getting the publication to hire an African-American photographer, Tyler Mitchell, to shoot the cover for the first time in its 126-year history. The superstar gave a nod to that significance in her remarks in the issue, 